ASL Challenger League Group Stage Round of 32. So the map is Overgrowth and spawning down to the bottom left hand corner. Sorry, Ender, I'm going to steal your player. No, that's <laughs> fine, that's fine. So down to the bottom left <laughs> as the Blue Terran from Team Kappa. It is... ACR Aran. And up here on the top right-hand side of the map, currently representing Alloy E, and from a country that humiliated Brazil today, it is... Azilis. Yeah. Yes, that humiliation. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty bad. I, it's That's the first, I think, World Cup game I watched uh, at all. <laughs> I'll watch the final probably. Oh, but, it was uh, just yeah, that was pretty bad. It was it was pretty bad. I don't think anyone quite expected that. Uh, some people oh. on Reddit posted like links to bets that they made and like a bet that Germany would win by more than four goals pays out like eighty to one or something. Oh. So yeah, that's just brilliant. It's, it's, it's all good. But uh, we do get gas coming down for uh, both players here, actually. Both of them looking pretty mirrored right now. Yep. Even with their building layout, they're fairly better. Yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they're positioned in the same way it is. I think they're the same person. Possibly, have we, have that, we ever seen them in the same room together? Well, that supply depot placement is something I've yeah. never seen before. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Normally it's either at the ramp, behind the ramp, or in between your like, gas guys. Yeah, or you in your water line or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, either way, something's going on. But yep. it's not that, not that important in the TVT anyway, but neither of them will be denying scouting with a wall off or anything like that. No. So uh, Aaron will give in and see what's going on in Azilis' uh, face and see the timing of the gas, see that it kind of matches his. Oh, that SCV's going to get out for that. Yeah, well, he's a survivor, that one. Two SCVs even chasing. And I think he's going to get the hint that this one is dropping off, potentially, for the CC. Yep, looks like Azalis is going to get in. I don't know if she's spotted that it's a factory yet or not, this building. Is she, is she going to escape, too? She's got the three hit point SCV. That Marine trying to get in there. No, it will oh. get away. Getting away. Oh, but she's kind of going, yeah, okay, we'll escape. We'll escape. Uh, uh, Aaron's going to come back in, try and verify that this is ACC. He'll probably get close enough before he's shot. Bam. We'll yep, see it. Saw that. So we have our first variation. Aaron has decided to go for the factory with a tech lab on it mm -hmm. and to starport. So it's Cloak Banshee yeah. out of Aaron, whereas Azelis has opted for a fast expand with a slower factory. Um, what this basically means is Aaron needs to do damage with this Banshee, otherwise yeah, he's just going to really fall behind. Yeah, definitely, oh, and uh, she is getting the engineering bay as well, so if she uh, recognizes that and throws down turrets right away, it could kind of put a stop to this fairly abruptly, but we'll see how he does, does do it, though. Yeah. Just looking at what she's actually seen, Cloaked Banshee is definitely one of the options. The other option is a two-base tank all in. Yeah. But since the two-base tank all in has not been seen in many years, Cloaked Banshee is kind of the only yeah, way to go with it. Viable build. And, uh, she's actually throwing a fa uh, tech lab on her own factory right next to the stairport, maybe going for a slightly later a version of it, although she's actually still only getting the one gas, but uh, we'll probably have enough gas at the time to do this if she wants to. Yeah. The delay just helps with that. Yeah. And it's the counter to cloak is cloak, because if you yeah, open a cloaked banshee, you never expect your opponent to go cloaked banshee. Exactly. Exactly. Well, she's got exactly. get one get one tank out though, so it may uh, may not end up being that. But she's not oh. making anything out of the stairport just yet. We've got a uh, reaper coming across. It might just be there to sneak in and see if there's turrets in place or something like that. 
Very likely. But the, uh, yeah, but the Banshee is swinging wide to the other side. There are turrets definitely in both mineral lines, but there's obviously still some angles you could try and pick off at. Well, there's going to be a Viking out by the time this Banshee gets here as well. So Azelis is going to shut this down hard. Yeah, very true. The Banshee kind of waiting, I think, here for Cloak to be finished. He is following up with a second one. The Viking is actually going to patrol in this area looking for it. Yep, and here comes the Banshee in now. And it's going to be met in the face by a missile and run away. Yep. Cloak. Cloak coming up. He will still be able to... I think take some pot shots uh, at the gas, but actually just pulls back out. Yeah, that's the smarter option. Yeah, you want to be able to save that banshee. Such a yeah, huge investment you you to get something out of. Yeah, if you keep it as part of your fighting force, at least, um, <coughs> then it still has value. Banshees are still just strong at doing damage. Yeah, definitely. Until combat shields are too short in a marine. Yeah. Here, uh, Aaron does have his base established too, kind of poking in, seeing what uh, can be done. Finds an angle to get an SCV or two. Ooh, a little wary, it. yeah. He can't go too close to uh, that and uh, has to cloak and get out of there, but he's going to get picked off and lose that. Yep, and, but she yeah. only get one kill, so yeah, I was about to say, Aaron's going to need to take a risk to get back into this game, and he's thrown down his third command center very early. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is definitely uh, what he needs to be doing here to, to get back up. Now, the SCV count, though, despite his um, second command center being a lot later, is even. They're both at 35 at the moment. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, it's not too bad here, and this uh, doesn't get picked up by the scan here. It does see the composition of the army up front. But uh, does it know that, uh, that that's going to happen? Yeah. Yep, so Zealous is going to need to do some more aggressive scouting just to yeah, figure what's out what's going on. Because all she knows just now is that there are tanks and marines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which can be anything. As yeah, you can see, pretty, at Zealous' front, generic. there's tanks and marines, but she's going into mech. Yeah, and she's got the Vikings as well, which are going to three of them already out, going to help uh, down the line. Of course, it helps spot for the tanks. She's also getting her own command center here now, and uh, two more factories coming down. So she is committing to that fairly heavily, whereas yep. I think Aaron's going to end up being a much more of a mix of bio and, uh, and tank. Definitely. And he's opting to go for this more forward uh, base. As opposed he's, to the one off to the right. He's also apparently opting to not get upgrades. Yes. I don't even That's, see an engineering bay. Yeah, that will. Uh, there's there's two, two, two. two. Yeah. Typical yeah. caster curse. Yeah. As soon as you mention something's missing, yeah. the player yeah. builds it. But Azelis is going to have plus one on her mech weapons before he's even started. Yeah, she definitely will here. It's almost uh, almost finished now, and she's actually got the double armory. So, in addition to the engineering base, so that's going to help her pump out upgrades like crazy. Uh, he is a little bit ahead in the SCV count, but not uh, enough to really make a difference at this point. Just three SCVs higher. Poking in now with the Banshee, trying to find if there is an angle that he could get at, but uh, not really. Tank sieging up, or at least cool. one. As moved out Actually, there, pretty, she pretty have. good angle here for uh, Aaron to get in just before that last siege. Oh, Hellbats! Yeah. Wow! Hellbats pretty <laughs> good here. Taking things out, and uh, I don't I, know, that, I, that wasn't too bad a trade for either player, to be honest. Both of them lost a couple tanks, both of them lost a few of their ground forces. Yep. I think it was worse for Azelis because playing yeah. as mech, your tank count is so important, so... Yeah. Effectively, she lost two tanks for nothing. Yeah. Because she was in no immediate danger to dying there. There were no medevacs that could have dropped in her base. Um, the Banshee wasn't going to be able to get anything done, and that force certainly couldn't have broken the front. Yeah. So I think moving out there was a mistake for her, but she did end up cleaning up with the power of Hellbats. I, I genuinely had no idea Hellbats were that good. Oh, they're really good. They're the best thing <laughs> ever. 
<laughs> they are kind of the best thing ever in the world. But uh, so Aaron kind of should. Um, he, he's very marine heavy right now. He's, it's marine tank medevac. Kind of needs to mix some marauders into it if he's yeah. planning to stick with this bio. Otherwise, the marines are just going to do nothing. Oh, kind of hung a tank out here to die. Tank. Um, that was kind of a free one. I don't know if that was a rally. That was just still up there or what? I think it was. Yeah. And if you look in Aaron's base, you can see his sim city's not quite right. He's got yeah. one tank that's sieged and one tank that's unsieged, but I think they're both stuck and unable <laughs> yeah. to get out. It's, it's certainly possible. I think the one at the top could just go further north, but it's just sitting there. He may just have it rallied to that location. Or is it stuck? I don't know. I don't know if it's trying to move or not. <laughs> He could medevac them out of there at least, but I don't yeah. know if he's aware of it really. Um, but because of a lot of this little, not even that much aggression, but just knowing that Aaron is near the front door, it delayed this command center from actually getting over to the third base for a long time. And yeah. that's cut into the mining, and uh, Aaron now has an 11 SCV advantage, and we've got Azillus actually fairly crucially supply blocked right now as well. Yep, indeed. And one of the important things with mech is your economy, especially your gas income. So having that third base delayed by any amount yeah. really hurts. There's not even gas geysers up yet on it. So I think Great. Aaron has put himself in a quite a nice position to win, but he's not building anything to deal with mech. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Like I, I said, he really has to get the... Um, get the Marauder can up or else he's not going to be able to get through the Hellbats, get through the tanks, even if he gets close enough. It's just all going to kind of die here. Um, yep. We've got the <laughs> got the Medivac here that's going to try and drop in and just get almost one shot like down it. by these Vikings. So that one's uh, a little expensive, particularly with the sensor tower there. You're not going to sneak in much. <laughs> She's got uh, sensor tower in the main, sensor tower at the third. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot he'll be able to do. Yep, definitely not. Um, and I guess now we go into that fantastic stage of TVT where nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Well, and it becomes a game of positioning. And the first player to make a mistake with their position loses. loses. Yeah. It's always always fun. Aaron is uh, going up to plus two, uh, plus two, plus two on his... Uh, bio right now but like i said it is still almost all marines he is nearing the max out point actually he's at it now and azillus kind of realizes the economy is not that great she needs to take another base and uh, moves down into these tanks this could be a huge attack that's a huge mistake. that's a big big mistake and if aaron just Although that's a bigger mistake that is a much bigger mistake uh he could have just gone and yeah, been yeah, he could have just been at the feet of all those tanks and uh, probably wiped the entire thing up right there. But uh, he does still come out, I think, ahead on this, particularly after whatever that was. <laughs> More free units. That's, yeah, that's kind of huge. Um, the thing is, she's got she's attacking in a position where her Viking count is so much superior, which usually provides you the spotting, but he's sitting at the watchtower. He doesn't care about that. He's still got the vision range on yep. everything here. His one Viking will fall. Um, and when you take these Vikings out of the equation, which, to be honest, they're kind of are. There's no medevacs. There's no opponent opposing Vikings, which is usually good because it means you control the sky. But right now what it means is there are 13 Vikings that are not helping. Yep, exactly. Although there are now two medevacs out, and this is where... Vikings and mech really start to get in yeah, Bio's really face because yeah. you just can't heal up when you're stimming. Yeah, he's we'll charging in here. We'll trade these marines for some of the SCVs. And of course, lost mining time. All of this will get cleaned up, but Aaron is going to use the opportunity to move right forward and just siege up between the natural and third. Although and, all the uh, tanks in the front. Right now. Oh, yeah, the hail back tanks not run. quite sieging up. The Marines will pull back, pulling everything into the tank fire. The Vikings now trying to land on the tanks. These Hellbats just won't die. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm actually really surprised that 
I just was able to clean that up, to be honest. Yeah, I she... thought that all of that was just going to be uh, murdered, but the Vikings did pretty well. They caused a lot of friendly fires splash on uh, on the tanks. Yep. Definitely. Um, yeah. So Azillus has no further transitions looking like she's not going into Sky Terran. And yeah, it doesn't, and yeah, we definitely see back in Aaron's space that the two siege tanks are kind of blocking everything here, and he's having to actually move one of these barracks and then destroy this reactor to get everything out. Yep. Um, because otherwise, you're just leaving three tanks back forever. He could have just lifted the starport, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, there's a lot of things he could have done. He could have just medevac lifted them out instead of killing things sure. and then changed his rally and. A lot of things like that, but uh, yeah, the the key here will be whether or not Azilis can establish a uh, a fourth. And Aaron has one marine right on the far left fourth base that is yes. just at a sensor tower range, but we'll be able to know whenever that lands. And you can rest assured that he's kind of basing this whole strategy on making sure a fourth does not come down. Yep, exactly. Because he is taking his fifth base yep. at the moment. His fourth yep. base is up in mining. His main is totally mined out. Yeah, and so as Azilla, she's actually transferring all the SCVs uh, mm. over now to the third oh. base, but that's already saturated, and she's actually building um, a CC raid in place. The oh, wow. could just straight up deny this if he felt like it. Yeah, on this uh, attack coming in, I Vikings starting to get picked off here. a shame that that was a, you know, a yeah. move command attack there from Aaron. Yeah. He could have cleaned up all those tanks. But looks like Azalis is going to maintain her tank count for just now. Yeah, for the time being at least. The uh, Marine has actually denied this command center from finishing for the time being. And we'll go after a Marine or two. But uh, two Hellions are coming over to clean that up. Uh, the mech is now at plus three attack. Uh, whereas yeah. Aaron's is plus two attack, but with no armor uh, on it. So uh, Zillis' tanks head and shoulders better than Aaron's at this point, but the uh, bio could be the difference. There's a few Marauders finally mixed in uh, to his army. But yeah, uh, but yeah but because of this of watch star, yeah, they just can't really approach here. There's no reason. So far, Zillis has not given Aaron a reason to move. There's no reason for him to leave this position. Yep. He's so got five bases. Yeah. They're coming in. See, and that, could, no that could definitely make a difference. Yeah. yeah. And looks That's like actually, all the three, yeah. three upgrades are now going to finish for both players. Mm -hmm. All at the same That's, time. Yeah, the Spanchi getting a lot of kills. The turret desperately trying to get up. It will eventually. But not before a lot of kills are uh, are taken by Aaron here. He's got 12 kills. Will he get up to 13? Not quite before getting chased away. Could just go right after the sensor tower here too to be annoying. But uh, uh, the Vikings coming over, coming down. And and there it goes. Dead. Yeah, another big shelling. And were those all SCVs? Um, I'm not sure. There's like. Yeah, there's like 13 SCVs just chilling around these tanks, I guess looking for repairs, since she's oversaturated yeah. at, uh, at all the bases. The naturals for both players almost mined out. <coughs> and Aaron's got oh, planetaries at his fourth up. and fifth. Yeah, uh, really good here, using the splash, but losing the meta back for it. Yep. Uh, and it just kind of beats everything in, and this is just brutal. Just, just pure brutality <laughs> there. There's now no medivacs left. Yeah. And these hellbats, man, they just... Hellbats are How good. Many tanks? And these, uh, yeah, this time they will clean up all the Vikings. And uh, Aaron's supply is huge. If he chooses now to just sprint in, uh, probably could do this before the, these get all sieged up again. Yep, looks since, like he's going to get all the tanks. Especially since they are not sieging up. And yeah, this may be the death knell here. Tank siege up behind. Yeah, 
Yeah, and his does yeah. have to top out. Really good positional play by Aaron in that game. And to the top left hand side, we have down 0 1 our red Terran from Team Alloy E. It is. As he was. And over here on the right hand side, we have sporting the fashionable blue and the cap of face, the Canadian Terran player up 1 0. It is. ACR Aaron. And this time, Aaron is going for the wall off here as opposed to Azilis's depot in a basically the same place that it was last time. Yeah. Um, this I think it's the better option to put the supply depot at the front for the wall off because I Hellions so can too. just run up. Yeah. Hellions can run up, and particularly on this map, if you wall off, you actually can deny a Reaper from scouting a bit because the wall, like the front wall, is uh, smaller. Like yep. you can kind of put Marines so that they can cover everything and not let them in. So yeah, I think why why give away information if you don't have to? Yeah, exactly. So Azilis is opting for the gas opening, whereas Aaron is either going to be going for a delayed gas or for a one rack gasless fast expand. Yeah. He's got the SCV rallied to the gas. Delayed so gas. There it is. Yeah. Yep. So it's fifteen gas. That's fairly standard. Fairly normal. Just got to get him into the mid game, ideally that, rather than we see any cheese out of him. Meanwhile, Azilis is more than likely going to be going up to a factory as soon as possible. Yeah, I would think so, since we don't have the Reaper coming out uh, right away. Yep. And she will go up to 100 gas before, uh, before anything here. The wall off is complete now for Aaron with a Marine coming out. And so this SCV won't get in to see what's going on. Poor little SCV, you failed. Now, it should have stayed at the top just to see what came yeah, out. Yeah, to see what came out. Yeah, exactly. You want to get shot or you want to get popped by a Reaper. Yep. Because if you see the Reaper, then you know they have gas. Yeah. And that's a big tail. Uh, so this is actually well above the 100 gas, and we don't have... Uh, a factory or anything coming down yet so she's actually delaying here a little whereas uh aaron snipes off that stv and goes up to a reactor as well as the cc Azilis is doing the same thing yep and as is actually throwing down her own cc which is why the factory has been delayed yeah however i would have liked to see the factory go down first yeah if you're gonna go out of your way to get the gas then you should probably do that or else she could have just not mined the gas and Got the uh, got the CC even got earlier. The CC. Yeah, yep. so it's kind of yeah playing in the middle of the road there. They're both getting a factory now, and so yeah, despite her getting a lot earlier, they're basically on the same step. Um, yeah, if getting. anything, Aaron's a wee bit further ahead with yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, here. Although uh, Zealous is the first to get the engineering bay. Yep, and she that did tend to be. lead most of the way in that last game in terms of upgrades it wasn't until near the end that they both uh, kind of hit through three of their respective choice yeah so we'll just, I think the engineering bay is more than likely because Aaron opened with Cloak Banshee, Banshee in last one. Time. Yeah. and due to not really being able to see much when she got to the wall she thought well it yeah, could be Banshee better. again this is a short map it's a short fly distance uh, Banshee is quite likely. So it's just yeah, making sure there's just a couple of one for it. Although a scan at six minutes will tell you that. Yeah. Because you'll see two gas and the tech lab on the factory in the Star Pro building. Unless it's proxy, in which case you'll just see the two gas and a severe lack of tech buildings. Yeah. And you'll, you'll know what's Either up. one's a tell. Yeah, and there's the scan now, uh, a bit later, and we'll see that the Starport is finished with no add-on on it and starting production. Oh, Aaron is still just on the one gas. Hmm? He's doing a Hellion drop, that's so cool. Yeah, that's, uh, this, this could be quite quite decent. Uh, he's well, got yeah. his own supply depot to spot, but uh, Azilis doesn't have anything in that grayed-out area in the top uh, side of her base, so 
Yeah, a drop here could uh, certainly work out. Yep. Basically, okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to put the four Hellions into the Medivac, drop them at the main, turn them into Hellbats, yep. and just fry them in a rolling, and yep. it is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that may well be the case. There's a siege tank at the front, but the rest in the the bunkers there. Uh, there is a Viking out now, though, that's actually going to patrol that area that yeah. uh, she had no vision of. There's also the sensor tower going up, so she likes to use those, apparently. Yep. So yeah. that drop that we were talking about is not going to happen. Yeah. And uh, this we'll poke up, see that the happen. tanks are there, and just pull right back out. Two Hellions last, but that's it. Yep. Not breaking that today. Uh, gonna try. Oh. I think here for the drop anyway. Kind yep. of weird. The weird. medevac is doing a weird thing here. <laughs> it seems to want to die with all yeah, this. Yep. Really did want to oh. die. Yeah, he so, kind of made a weird like figure eight with his medevac on the path thing, and I don't know, I don't know why, but yeah, that did cost him. If yep. he had just dropped right away, then Marines could kill the Viking. But yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, he's going up to his third CC is Aaron, and uh, we've got an armory down, coming down for Azillus. Once again, Azillus is more than likely going to be taking the upgrade lead because Aaron, once again, has not yet started engineering base. Yeah. Even though he's got a faster third command center, which does tell you he wants to play a macro game, mm -hmm. he doesn't seem to be getting the upgrades early enough, which could prove to be a problem like in last game where he has a weaker mid game than the mech player. Yeah. Which is really not supposed to happen when you're the, the marine tank player. Because you get ahead on your upgrade, you have more supply, etc., etc. But yeah, as Ellis is going to be in the lead, going into the mid game, yeah. just purely because of the upgrade advantage on the mech units. Yeah, she's once again getting uh, the Hellbats out, which proved that they were quite good in the yes. uh, last game, and also taking that uh, Viking lead again, going up to three already. Um, because of course you don't really need medevacs when you're doing this. Or at least not many. They would be nice to do a couple of Hellbat drops, I guess. Yeah. And to heal yeah, the Hellbats more than anything. Yeah, they do count as bio for whatever reason. And, and uh, yep. they are effective in that sense. But yeah, she'll just take the, the air advantage with the Vikings, I guess, so far. Um, Aaron sieging up on the low ground with his medevac safely back. And this yep. is just a little bit of a contain, I guess. Yep, I guess it's just to try and stop any army move out to, yeah. to secure a third. Yeah. It's going to keep Azillus in her base, but she doesn't even have a third command center at this point, so she doesn't care. Yeah. But does she only have two factories as well? Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, is going to start the third command center here now. And, and it's going blue to go. Blue flame is coming, and. Uh, the factory, another factory is coming. Some idle SUVs sitting around, uh, which you don't like to see, sure. but doing okay here. She is actually a fair bit uh, behind in supply, also a fair, fair bit behind in the SUVs as well. Um, so as Aaron lands on the gold here, he's going to get a lot of mineral income out of that. Yep, definitely. I know that he's got his 1-1 one, one on the way. Mm -hmm. There is going to be a nice time when he's going to be on equal upgrades, or rather, he's going to have the armor over the mech. Yeah. So there might be a slight opportunity to get something kind of done. Because the only actual, like, if he's wanting to do a drop, the only area that's covered is to the very top of Azalis's main. There's a yeah. nice little section in between. Yeah, at the, like a, yeah the around where that command center is, yeah. Like, you can, you can fly medevacs right through there and right on top of all the production. So if he chooses to do that, there's a very high chance he can take out all the production and severely cripple as all well his production. Mm -hmm. I think for the time being, he's pretty content to just sit there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he, he knows he's all. ahead. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, he knows he's ahead economically. He's got a marine at every base that. Azillus could possibly have snuck off to and knows that there's nothing there and he's just kind of, yeah, waiting. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, waiting yeah. is not something you can no. do when you're the bio player against mech. Yep. You need to be keeping the tank count down. Um, luckily for Aaron, 
as Ellis's tank count is pretty much non-existent. Anyway, yeah, it's not that high. His his is his is higher basically uh, yeah. at this point. Like three tanks for a make player just now is like yeah, it's really low. Nothing. And uh, so. this time around, he's not making the early game mistake he did last time of only going Marine. There are a re it's starting to be a reasonable number of Marauders uh, being matched yeah. in with this. Only three now, but he's put the production down to have them continually pumping out, which is very key. He's making three at a time. Um, he's going to try and move up here. And actually getting a lot of damage done with this. A surprising amount of damage done, to be honest. And is just charging right in. We'll be going after this bunker. Try and get right on top of these tanks. Oh, oh he, he needed and, to uh, fire the tanks there. Messing it up a little bit, but there's more tanks to come with this. And if they Three just come in unsieged, yeah, the Marauders will be able to take this out if they just stim forward. He's being a little too hesitant. His, yeah, his unit yeah. control is a wee bit off. Yeah, uh, he probably should have been able to gone. kill that. He also, uh, one thing I think that he's got to pick up is... A single unseed siege tank will kill a siege tank. Yeah, and uh, but he's he's sieging a little too prematurely. But uh, either way, he forced this lift off. There's SCVs just sitting around, like tons of them. And every minute <laughs> yeah. this goes on, is gonna be a lot lost in terms of income. Yep, and his two two is very close to being done. So, I mean, as soon as that's done, he can just push up this ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here okay, here come every SCV in the world to try and take these tanks out, and she's desperately trying to break this position, but I don't think she's going to. Uh, yeah. Tanks do siege up, and Marines will just skim directly on top of them, clearing this out, and this uh, command center is going to die. And that's going to be all she yep. wrote for our first series. Aaron will take that 2-0. to zero. Yeah. Well, well played to Aaron. Yes.